Good morning and welcome to BTV where we cover news for the students by the students. I'm Alejandro Sanchez. And I'm Hayden Sanchez here with Beckton's April Monthly News Report. April Fools, it's the annual day of pranks. I forgot to ask, do you want some brownies? Sure, I would love some. April Fools. You really got me there. Let's get down to earth. Did you know every year each American throws out about 1,200 pounds of organic garbage that can be composted? Wow, that's about three pounds of garbage per person. Earth Day is approaching on April 22nd, and it's a great opportunity to give back to Mother Nature. Here's BTV's Sabrina Nazario to show us the importance of how we can participate in Earth Day this month. Earth Day is an annual event to demonstrate support for environmental protection. Here's Gianna to tell us how Beckton will be contributing to Earth Day. Hi, my name is Gianna. I am the social media manager for the Environmental Club. Well, students give back to the environment on a daily basis by just integrating small things that they do throughout their day to promote sustainability. Like, instead of using a plastic straw, use a metal straw. Or instead of using a regular water bottle, use a reusable water bottle. Small things like that do definitely make a difference. Climate change is a very a hard topic to solve in one day, but actively taking the steps is a great step in the right direction. We do a lot of fundraisers and drives to promote sustainability. Like last year we did, and this year we did, a shoe drive for this company called Got Sneakers, which they take sneakers that would usually land in landfills and either make new ones out of them or give them to charity. We've done clothing drives, we've done, um, we've sold like tote bags, we've sold t-shirts, we've sold a lot of things to raise money for the environment. Uh, so that is definitely a way that we promote sustainability at, at the school. It's important to remember we shouldn't only do these things on Earth Day. We should cultivate these practices into our everyday lives. For more information, visit earthday.org. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sabrina. Everyone's favorite fundraiser is back, so get ready to see a bunny hopping through the halls this April. Don't get too excited because it won't be the Easter Bunny, but one of Becton's beloved teachers dressed up hippity hopping along. This freshman sophomore class fundraiser requires you to purchase an egg for $1, and the teacher who has the most eggs in their basket will become a Becton bunny for the day. Easter and spring break are right around the corner and Beckton students and staff should be excited for this well-deserved break. Let's head to our BTV reporter for suggestions on what to do this spring break. Spring break takes place in the third week of April, the 18th to the 22nd, where the students and staff from the East Rutherford, Crosstat, and Maywood communities take the week off from working so hard and just relax. It is a great time for the students to get caught up with schoolwork and prepare for the upcoming final exams and hanging out with their friends. Let's see how some other students are feeling about spring break being so close. I can't wait for spring break because I'm planning to go to Bora Bora with my friends. I'm feeling good about spring break because I'm going to go see a Broadway musical. I'm so excited for spring break. I can't wait to go to Hong Kong and explore the world. I'm excited for spring break because I'm going to Puerto Rico to see my grandma. This spring break, my mom and I will be driving down to Miami Beach and meeting some family. We will also be renting an Airbnb and having some fun together as a family. Thank you, students. Wow, I waited all year for this. I cannot wait to hang out with my friends and family in the nice warm weather. And back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sam. We hope everyone has a very happy Easter and an enjoyable week off. Speaking of spring, let's head over to Jake Kennedy for this month's sport update. <laughs> Thanks guys. There are many upsets to this March Madness. As the tournament continues, we wish good luck to the remaining teams in the tournament. This April 14th is Jackie Robinson's Day. As we celebrate and honor the legacy of Jackie Robinson's life and career, he was one of the first African Americans to break the color barrier for the Major League Baseball in 1947. We reflect on the impact he made on the game of baseball. Baseball and softball kick off the month with their first games of the season as varsity baseball takes on Hackensack and the Lady Wildcats take on Woodridge for a fresh new season. Good luck to both teams for their upcoming season. Track and field opens up their seasons on April 1st with the new direction of Mr. Dorsey, Coach Garakti, and Mr. McGuire. Their dynamic team looks like it will be in good shape for some wins this season. This year's tennis team is coming in hot as they open up their upcoming season on April 4th as CV takes on Elmwood Park Memorial and on April 6th, Varsity takes on Ridgefield. Good luck to boys and girls tennis this upcoming season. That's going to wrap it up for this month's sports update. I'm Jay Kennedy, and let's head over to our weather report from Sofia Diaz.
Thanks, Jake, and happy spring. This month, we are starting to see flowers budding as temperatures begin to heat up, reaching the mid-50s to high 60s. But don't forget to keep your umbrellas close by because rain showers are expected. Rain from the west is coming in hot as we see more precipitation come our way in the near future. With an occasional breeze here and there, we'll tend to see more beautiful days ahead. That'll do it for April's weather. Remember, April showers bring May flowers. I'm Sofia Diaz, and back to you in the studio. If you like TV just as much as I do, you'll love our intro to Com and TV One students putting together these classic TV show parodies. you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Wow, those TV parodies really bring back some amazing memories of my childhood. It almost makes me want to take some time for myself and see the beauty of our own wellness. I think it's time to head over to Miss Gatto for our wellness break. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gatto. Welcome back to the Beckton Wellness Center for April's wellness break. The topic of this wellness break is you are what you eat, considering how the foods we eat affects our bodies and brains. Usually when we think about the foods that we eat, we think in terms of calories and fat and how what we eat will affect our weight. But we really need to instead think about how the foods that we consume will affect our body and our brain function. Our brain is only 2% of our body weight, but takes 20% of our energy. So we need to think in terms of giving our brains the best fuel that it can possibly get. Because what that fuel is made up of will have a direct effect on our brain and body functioning, and then in turn our moods, our sleep patterns, and the way that uh, our memories work. So it really is so important to think in terms of how the foods we eat affect those things. Ultimately, a good rule of thumb is to eat foods that have lots of color. The more color, the more nutrition. The more nutrition, the more fuel you're giving your body and your brain cells. Some common brain foods that we all know about are um, wild caught fish, uh, but also nuts, seeds. Uh, they contain the omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids that our brains love. Proteins are important because they give us the amino acids that fuel our neurotransmitters and our brain cells. Carbohydrates are of course important for energy levels, but try to find them in forms of vegetables and uh, whole grains because bleached grains, white pasta, white food, they have almost no nutrition in them and can be actually detrimental for your body and your brain functioning. Most importantly, again, always stay hydrated. Hydration is the key because we are really mostly made up of water and it's important for us to replenish the nearly two liters of water that our body loses every single day. Ultimately, the most important thing is to maintain a healthy, balanced diet because then you will have a balanced body and a balanced brain. Pay attention to how your body feels after you eat the same day, right afterwards, and even the next day. If you take the time to listen to your body, it will always tell you what's best for it. Well, happy springtime. Thanks again for stopping by the Wellness Center for your wellness break and stay well. See you guys next month in May. Thanks, Ms. Gatto. I always remember that health is the state of the body and wellness is the state of being. I couldn't be more thankful to appreciate such beauty in it all. Now it's time to showcase this month's teacher features and student of the month, Yuna Lin.
New English teacher joins Becton Regional High School staff. Ms. Valente joins Becton Regional High School 2021-2022 staff to teach English. Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Valente. Um, I was inspired to become an English teacher by one of my high school English teachers um, who shared a great love of literature and writing and passed that on to me. And I'm so happy to be here and pass it on to my students. I attended Caldwell University where I played soccer for them. I then went to complete my master's at Columbia University's Teachers College. Interesting fact that I'd like to share with you is that I've been skydiving. I went skydiving for my college roommate's 18th birthday. Um, it was a fantastic experience. So in my free time, which I don't have much of, I have four daughters who are very active. I do enjoy baking. Uh, word on the street is that Mrs. Valente makes the best brownies out there. In his hometown, a young Spanish teacher lands job at Becton Regional High School. Mr. Weiss, our new Spanish teacher, has come to Becton to teach kids to love and appreciate all there is about the Hispanic language and culture. Hey, my name is Mr. Weiss. I am a Spanish teacher here at Becton Regional High School. Uh, so, I always wanted to get into something that was going to be in education related, and then when I was in college, I um, actually had the opportunity to study abroad and I taught at a school in Spain. Um, my favorite part about teaching Spanish is just getting the kids to understand that it's a, really a tool that's directly applicable in life um, and it opens so many doors for them in terms of meeting new people, understanding different cultures, um, and it provides more um, opportunities just in life in general for them. I come from a huge family. I'm one of 15 siblings actually, so uh, uh, many always have passed through these halls. I'm committed to the University of Rochester and I'm planning to study neuroscience pre-med there. I was also accepted under the dual degree nursing program, so I'm thinking about pursuing a career in neuroscience for nursing. Um, the future is definitely scary to think about, but especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, I feel like Letters for Rose, a nonprofit organization I volunteer for, is definitely one of my favorites. For the organization, I volunteered by writing letters and creating art pieces for nursing home residents who were isolated um, because of the pandemic. I would say I'm also a procrastinator myself but um, pushing myself to do extracurriculars that personally interest me motivates me to manage my time wisely. I would say that academics isn't everything. Being able to know how you could help others with what you learn at school, with your talents and abilities is also very important. I would wanna say that I live the happy life because being happy is obviously one of the best feelings someone has. And I would say that my family and friends make me the most happy and push me to do better in life. In case you missed it, BTV's intern Giancarlo Casada played the national anthem on guitar for this month's spring sports pep rally. Such a great way to kick off this upcoming spring sports and the competitive season. Best luck to all. <laughs> Don't forget to donate a dollar for this month's Bunny Hop fundraiser. We can't wait to see who gets the most votes. That's going to do it all for this month's news report. I'm Alejandro Sanchez. And I'm Hayden Sanchez. Tune in next time and have an amazing April, Becton.